Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is on my new favourite song. It's Stan Quaylen by the Southern River Band. Uh, one of my friends just randomly sent me this uh, song on YouTube, so I watched it, and it's just the coolest intro. So I'm going to teach you that today. But just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Now the intro goes on for a long time, so we've got loads to learn. Uh, first thing you need to do is tune down to E flat. So everything's tuned down a half step. So E flat, A, uh, a flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. And then we're ready to rock. Okay, so let me just quickly play you the first part of the intro. It goes this. So to play that, we're going to place our first finger on D5 and G5 at the same time, and we're going to play an upstroke and also hit the open A string. Okay, it sounds a bit dissonant, but then you hammer on your third finger onto D7. Okay, so that's on the last quaver of the beat, so it's one, two, three, four. This song's really fast as well. So you've got that little hammer on, and then you're going to play another upstroke with your third finger on the A and the D7. So you're hitting from the D7 upwards and hitting the A string as well. So you go. And then you're just gonna play the open A string on its own going. So six times in that bar and then another five times in the next bar. So slowly you got. We then play G5 and B5. I just put my first finger flat across those. Both of those with the upstrokes. So, so far you've got. We then play a D7 with open A. Again, that'll be an upstroke. And then continue with the open A string going. Again, playing six in that bar and then five in the next bar. And then instead of playing the D5 and G5 um, twice going. In bar five, we play G7 and B7, and then G5 and B5. Then back to the um, D7 with the open A, and then open A strings all the way to the end, and then we play the B5 and G5 twice. And we palm mute all the open A strings, so you get. Hopefully this is making sense. So you got this. Okay, a bit faster. Then we have to go on to the next line and it hits the D7 and the open A, and then the open A string um, five times this time. And then we're gonna play the little pentatonic lick or blues lick that goes. Which is just E8, E5, B8, B5, G8, G7, then G5. Don't play the notes in the brackets, they're just held on, so you've got. Okay, so from the previous bar, we've got. Okay, so let's see if we can put that beginning part together from the beginning, because it's going to repeat in a second. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Okay. 
It then, like I say, repeats back to bar two and then goes all the way through that. And then on the repeat, you don't play bar nine. Instead, you carry on in, into bar 10. And it's just doing that same lick that goes down. But it does that four times this time. So. so slowly that's. Okay, so let's actually play the second time through. So we'll play from the beginning. Um, we won't play bar nine, we'll jump onto the bar 10. So the second time through, here we go. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. That's the first part, those two lines repeat. We then go on to the next bit, which I've called the main riff. It's exactly the same, but instead of just playing the open A string all the time, you're playing A with the uh, D7. Okay, so you've got that little hammer on that we did on the previous bit. Uh, let me just play that section, hopefully this should make sense. Okay, so it's exactly the same, but we're just playing the A string and the D7. And um, in the first bit, we should palm mute the A string. Um, but in the this part, there's no palm muting at all. So that main riff works exactly the same as the intro part, where we play the uh, whole the first line of that main riff, then we play the first two bars of that line, repeat back, and then don't play bar 21. Instead, you do the, the guitar little lick four times. Okay. And then it goes on to the next riff, riff number two, which sounds like this. So to play that, we've played the D5 on the previous line. We hammer on to D7. We're then going to play the D7 another one, two, three, four, five, six times. So and then play B5, B8, B5, G8, B5, and then G8 pulls off to G7 and then to G5 quicker. And then D7. It then plays the G5 and bends it a sli slight bit out of tune into the next bar. And it's just doing the same riff again. So you've got, uh, after that bend. And it does that same thing four times. So you get this. It then takes that exact same riff, but we move up two frets. So now we're starting on, uh, on the previous line we've got a D7, but then it's going straight into this D9, so it goes. Or slowly, that's. And then it goes up another three frets. So we're on uh, D12 now. Uh, so same idea, but then we go up another two frets, um, and this is where it changes just slightly on the end. So it does it um, three times, the relic, so it goes. Goes up to that bend on the G12, and then it just plays, which is open E three times, E2 three times, E3 four times, then E4 three times, then 
that's what going to be where it starts the main riff. It goes all the way back to that main riff, um, plays the main riff again. So this last bit, where it goes, starts up to the 14th fret, goes. And then back to the main riff. Um, and then it does that main riff, and then that's the whole of the intro. So quite a lot to get through, but hopefully you've enjoyed that. Well, if you have enjoyed that, then if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section. Let me know if you want the rest of the song, let me know if you want the guitar solo, it's got a really cool guitar solo, um, or just any other ideas would be amazing. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print off all the tabs for that, because there's quite a lot to get through, um, then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.